What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. This time we are not doing M19. Thankfully, we are doing some Cruel Control uh, submitted by Patreon uh, patron and subscriber Josh VS. Um, and I am excited for one. Cruel Control is one of my favorite archetypes in modern. I also love Counter Squall and Soul Manipulation and Kolagon's Command. Uh, all of these are very sweet. I'm, I'm reluctant about 24 lands. We have when, when we have Cruel Ultimatum, we might want like a 25th land in here. Uh, additionally, there was one thing I was mentioning. I kind of want a third Black Source so we can cast Cruel Ultimatum through something like Blood Moon. Um, but it is the only card that requires triple black, so it might not be a problem. Uh, just finished watching the mono red draft. It seems a propensity to get a mana flooded or screw is amazing. Yeah, I don't actually, I always think it's just me. I always think it's just in my head. Like maybe I'm just like over exaggerating. Maybe this is just normal into game of magic. And then people say that and it kind of confirms it. And I'm just like, maybe not. I don't know how I feel about Nixithid either. This is a very interesting choice. The, the problem I'm seeing right now, initially, is that we have both Soul Manipulation and Kolagon's Command to get creatures back and Cruel Ultimatums. But the only creatures really worth getting back here is, like, Nixithid. I almost want, like, a Torrential Gear Hulk instead. Hmm. 100 Card Hero, I literally just mentioned where the, where the deck came from. <laughs> it was literally in the monologue. Um... Am I missing something? What? So before we start playing, I'm actually considering... Like, what's the perk of Nixithid? I guess you get it back with, with Cruel Ultimatum and, like, it's probably going to be a 7-7. Seven, seven. Hmm... I almost like like one torrential gear hulk in the list because it can get back soul manipulation it can get back Kolagon's command i think gear hulk is a really good card in this list it can't flash back cruel ultimatum obviously but you know these six cards alone also counter squall terminate It says sixteen twenty. Like it was it was it was sixteen twenty one when I when I read it. So it's literally like within the same minute. Anyway, I'm not gonna argue, I'm just like saying it's it, it's not <laughs> It was sixteen twenty when you asked. It was sixteen twenty one when I was literally responding to you, so it had to be a minute before that where I was explaining where the deck came from. Anyway, not the point. There could be a delay, not a big deal. I I, I hmm. Matthew Ori, yes, you need to take a picture of baby horse. That is something that needs to happen. This might also be too much removal. We have soul manipulation, Kolagon's I'm gonna take out one soul manipulation. And I'm gonna take out one Kolagon's command because we don't actually have the I feel like we don't have the uh we're gonna go one turn show I'm, I'm gonna add one more land. We got steam vents, we got four, five, six, seven, eight. Blood crypt. Oh. Magic Online. You are amazing. All right. I'm going to add one more. Do we have any card draw? The problem is, I, I don't like that we don't have any card drawing here. 
We also have no way to like get to cruel ultimatum. You know what I mean? <laughs> control Z. Yeah, I don't know if that works actually. Let me let me move these six over here. Yeah, control Z is not an MTGO feature, unfortunately. Hmm. Oh my god, these are actually putting them back in the My cringe is so real right now, guys. My cringe is so real. Okay, we get one more card. God, I really want something to draw. Like Ancestral Vision. Is Ancestral Vision good in this deck? Yeah, Control-Z works in Magic Online. Search for Asconta seems great. That's what we're going to take. That's a good... That's a good one of. That's a fun of right there. Yep. I always enter search instead of Ascanta. If we if we look for Ascanta, we're going to find one card. If we look for search, we're going to find thousands. All right, let's try it like this. It's already a little different than what is listed in the uh, the deck command, but hopefully you guys will be okay with that. Hopefully you guys don't cry too much. Control Z was just a joke. I know. Yeah, right. But it's like it's kind of the thing where I'm like, well, this this might work. Soul and Nick seem sketchy? Why does Soul and Nick seem sketchy? Nick said that his card's in their hand, not your hand. So. Yeah, I'll keep this. I do want some card drawing. Oh, a human. Red source. Yeah, that'll do. Mike, take it easy, buddy. Always a pleasure. Sweet Thalia's Lieutenant. Uh, let's get a Blood... No, Steam Vent. It's gotta be Steam Vent. No, it... Urgh. Ah! Brr! Yeah, it's gotta be Steam Vent. Uh, I prefer playing online. I think it's easier to shuffle. It's easier to sideboard. You don't have to wait for your opponent. Uh, the time management is always fair. I always have the same amount of time in a game than my, my opponent does. And uh, I just think it's a better experience. I mean, outside, as long as your trust, as long as you trust the shuffler is fair, I think it's fine. In one of Ben Stark's uh, most recent drafts, he ended up drafting Militia Bugler, and he kept calling it Bugler, and I kept laughing. I uh, I, I have also called it Bugler, um, ironically, just for, for comedy. And, um, I mean, it's funny, because, like, who the hell's heard of a Bugler in 2018? Like, no one plays the Bugle. Like, it's a funny word. So I just call it Bugler because it sounds funny because it's like bugs. Can't be, can't be countered. That's pretty good. 
Gonna let that resolve. Thalia. Well, that wasn't the right choice. Yep, that was stupid. Wow, that was terrible. Yeah, our, our thought process there was, I don't want a lightning bolt because we can actually just shoot them in the face. Uh, at some point, so Lightning Bolt is more versatile than uh, than Fatal Push, and then we realized, oh, wait, we can't push these guys, so. God, Cryptic Command's real bad against the deck with... Uh... Let's try this again. Uh, I have not been qualified for the Pro Tour in like a year and a half now, so no. They have six cards in hand. Like, oh god. I hate this deck so much. I remember when I used to play this on like Modern Monday for like TCG Player and Channel Fireball, and it was just like a joke. You're like, eh. I'm just going to play the cute humans deck. And now it's like, oh, every, once everyone else discovered the deck was really good, like. Uh, Hat Mike's probably not coming back for at least a year. Hat Mike lives in New York, so it's very hard to get Hat Mike uh, to hang out. I just don't feel like we're winning this match, unfortunately. <laughs> I might need rent. I might need that. Fascinating. Yeah, we're going to scoop here. Uh, they have a cryptic command guy, and we have two cryptic commands in hand, like you do. All right, bring these in. Take out the Solmanips. Take out the cryptic commands. Brand Liliana. Mole Drifter is interesting in the sideboard. I wonder what that dude's doing. Drawing us two cards, I guess? Okay. 
Uh, if I hit 500, I'll definitely wear a gold chain for our 500 stream. That sounds like gas. I'll just hard cast. Don't tell me what to do with my with my mole drifter. I want to get this because we really want to play all the cards in our hand. Thalia. Freebooter fruit. Your hand is not great. Seems good. Can a dude get a blue source? Seize him. I mean, we're uh, we're a, a ways away from from five hundred, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna count those chickens before they hatch, unfortunately. I mean, I think I started about, I think I was at, I wasn't even at 200 in like April, maybe. So I got like 150 in the past few months, which is nice, but. That guy's gone and you fetched a planes with your windswept teeth, okay. That was a good draw. Oh, we got nine damage in hand. From this moment. Reflecting Pool is the best Grixis try land ever. What's up, Undreamt Tuna? One day that tuna will be dreamt. One day. So yeah, there does exist free jazz music. It's in the public domain. But uh, one problem with that is... Um, I've actually tried it. And there was no... Like, it still got demonetized. And I was like, oh my god. How many field of ruin? None. Which should be remedied, I imagine. Today will not be that day. That is correct. I imagine no no tunas will be dreamt today. Or undreamt, I guess? Dreamt? They won't be dreamt today. That's what we're going to go with. Mm-hmm. They have two cards in hand. One of them is a Sacred Foundry. Which I don't know why he didn't play because... Well, a YouTube bug or not, like, it still doesn't... It doesn't help me, you know what I mean? And also, I think it was actually with, um... It was actually a Twitch bug. It's part of the Twitch VODs got, uh, muted. And so if it gets muted on Twitch, I just don't want to trust it on YouTube because, like, it's just not worth risking it. You know what I mean? One dreamy tuna buck. <laughs> oh, always a, always a good time. Okay, that's pretty good. Wow, 
Why isn't this link working, Matthew Ori? Get your get your imager get your horses together, Matthew Ori. We're only two man away from cryptic cruel ultimatum. Cryptic cruel ultimatum. Cryptic cruel ultimatum command. What is this? What are you even sending right now? This sounds really familiar, but I've... Not really. That's a little too metally for me. You got it. Can't counter that guy. Oh, I didn't actually. Let me look. I'm gonna have to. I have to look for that cat. That cat deck. Thank you. EOT impulse. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Our hand is pretty stacked. Oh man, horses are horses are great. I'm gonna give these horses some ice cream. Oh, look at that tiny horse. Oh, oh man, animals OP. I'm I'm literally watching a horse video right now. We took all our counter spells out. Like this is this is one problem with, uh, with the deck that I'm seeing so far. It's that we don't have ways to, like, if we draw a cruel ultimatum here, it's bad. If we draw a land without a cruel ultimatum, it's bad. Like, I'm just really reluctant to shoot them with Snapcaster Mage because... Like, if I go Snapcaster, like... I don't want to go Bolt, Snap, Bolt because, like, that's just not going to win us this game. Like, I'd rather just, if I'm going to snap Bolt, I'd rather just snap Coligon's Command, make them discard and deal them two instead of three. Like, that just seems better, right? And if we're doing that, I'd rather just wait till they play a guy. Well, they just name Snapcaster here? They have to name Snapcaster. Lightning Bolt. Fascinating. See, now this is great. Now we can use our... Now we can snap Kolagon's command. You and you. Red. Discarded a Mantis Rider. Why didn't you play that? 
That's very strange. Now we will witness the full power of this fully operational Snap Collagon's command. Bolt you discard. Eh, eh, eh. That's from a little Star Wars movie. If they were ghosting, they wouldn't have named Lightning Bolt off of Meddling Mage. They would have named Snapcaster, I presume. And if you're ghosting in a two-man queue, like, you're probably a loser. Like, <laughs> it's pretty stupid. I'm gonna get rid of Damnation here. I feel like it's probably the... Interesting. Well, that's good, because now we actually get to see what you hit, and then decide we want to discard after that. A Mantis Rider. And a Kite Sail for Booter. Yeah, I'll just kill everything. Put you in top deck mode, I guess. And you lost another Mantis Rider, which should be all four. And now we get to keep Snapcaster Liliana, and we're both in top deck mode. Yep, just fine. <sighs> the top decks. And if we can hit a cruel ultimatum, I'll consider all things even. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. So we got blue, blue, red, red, black, black. We just need a black source. Or we can go black, black, black. We need a black, red source. So we can probably just get a blood crypt and cover all our bases. Look at that. They're both helping each other. Isn't that cute? Yep, Blue Delta. That's about it's about what I'd expect, I think. We're just going to get rid of this Liliana here. They're just going to kill it anyway. They attack with both. Liliana dies from Thalia, and we get to trade with Thalia's lieutenant anyway. This way we get to at least... Uh... But, I mean, on the bright side, now that they have Thalia, we get to still cast Cruel Ultimatum, so... It's a good one. One time, let's do the deck signature thing. That guy's actually pretty big. However, it's going to make me choose an opponent a bit. Choose an opponent. Well, I only have one. <laughs> Them having Mirror and Crusader in hand is pretty rough. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Not a land. <laughs> I'm tempted to actually run my snap into something. I think it's actually better. If they if they have negate in hand, like I mean actually incredible. Uh red, red, blue, blue, black. Black, black. They actually can't negate because they have Thalia in place, so. Oh, they didn't even attack with the with the one dude, with the one gentleman. Oh, Thalia's still on online. Yep, you got it. So black, red. Nope, that's not gonna work the way we want it to. We'll go black and red. Just use the mana in the pool, man. There's three mana, just use it. So getting to flip this search for Ascanta is pretty good. Now you're attacking with this guy. Snapcaster's at a point where it's just better in the graveyard. Because we have Kolagon's commands, we also have... Uh, we have soul manipulation, but it's in the sideboard. Sure. Um, I'm actually keep that, and I will flip you because, boy, are you valuable here. Yeah, they actually have to block Nixithid, so. Yep. That's just a freebie. Oh, I don't want to play it actually if it costs two more. I don't think it's that good. Yeah, I feel like this is probably game. <laughs> Man, I may have been mistaken about the Nixithids. These guys are doing some hard work here. Um, I'm not sure that's always going to be the case, but worked reasonably well there. Josh, I don't hate it yet, buddy. I don't hate it yet. I am a little disheartened by Collected Company. I'm going to keep this hand. We don't have a black source, but we could. God, I'm so tired of Cavern of Souls. What's CTP? What is that? I 
Cage is great against company, but I mean, so are counter spells. I'd rather just have a counter spell. It's like they're both they're both one mana card. They're both one cards that shut off one particular card in this deck and nothing else. <laughs> oh, creeping tar pit could be fine. Second Thalia is pretty awkward here. I actually probably should have played Nyx with it. Oh, that's so bad. Why didn't I just drop Reflecting Pool? Why did I instantly snap off Island? <sighs> I guess we can just go Snapcast or do nothing. It's real bad. Oh, I guess they have a million Thalias. You can't actually cast the Mantis Rider here. So we'll just take Mirror and Crusader. And hopefully you draw nothing. Attack us for five. I mean, they would have had four cards in hand here, so Nix that actually would have been a 3-3. Three, three. Not super great, but, you know, it does do something. So when do they have Thalia Mantis Rider? So they're going to have four cards in hand, which again makes Nyx to a 3-3, which is not ideal. The problem with K Command is that they're obviously going to play a guy next turn, whether it's Thalia or Mantis Rider. If we kill Mantis, if we kill Thalia, um, so we're taking three at least, going to four. If we play Liliana, make them sack. They're probably just going to come at Liliana, and if if they have Mantis Rider, if they if they can actually play Mantis Rider, we're just dead. I think we actually have to pass here. Uh, the, if they had a land for Mantis Rider, they would have played it last turn. I think we're just keeping Snap and Kolagon's command up here. All right. All right. Not bad. Not bad. So now our options are Snapcaster, Fatal Push, Block. Or we can Kolagon's command and make them discard. This is a better use of mana. Discarded Athalia? Oh, no, they just cast Athalia and they discard Phantasmal Image. Okay. Well, that's rough. So now they sack this, we're dead to this. I mean, we can play Nyxithid here and just hope they don't have Mantis Rider mana. Nyxithid would be a 4 4, which does block the champion. Snapcaster actually keeps us alive. 
Yep, never mind. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> I'm going to play my tier one's human deck in the two man queues. Yep, that'll do it. We did punt a lot? What what were our punts? I mean, there was one turn where I didn't play Nixithid, where I felt like I should have. It would have been the more ideal play there. But if you can name other punts in that in that specific game, I'd love to know. I don't know if Nixithid is where I want to be here, though. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Uh, the old unexplainable I like Liliana the Last Hope a lot actually um, the problem is in decks like this you can't really exploit her negative 2 ability so it's kind of just like a plus 1 um, it's kind of like she just has plus 1 and negative like 6 Yeah, the thing is, I don't know if it's workable in Modern. I've been trying since probably the beginning of Modern to make this workable. Uh, this is submitted by a patron and subscriber. So we're trying to see if it works. I actually, I, I always think it's worth trying. I don't know why we'd need a Braid, though. Like, we have Lightning Bolts, we have Fatal Pushes. Um... Like, a braid doesn't do anything that Fatal Push doesn't. And, like, we have Kolagon's Command for artifacts, and... I don't think we're, like, in a situation where we need artifact slash creature removal. That isn't... That isn't Kolagon's Command, you know what I mean? I don't actually know if I like these Liliana the Veils, though. Well, the thing I like about Inga Chewer is that it goes to it does it's doing a lot of the same work as a braid, um, in the matchups you want it. Only it also you can get it back with with cruel control, cruel ultimatum. So we get three cards here. I'm gonna bring back a cryptic command. I'm going to add another search. I do kind of like a damnation in the main deck. I'm going to add one more fatal push to the sideboard. Uh, soul manipulation is count. I don't actually like soul manipulation in here. I know why. I see why Josh included it, but like, you don't have enough creatures to get back, so a lot of times it's just a. Literally, it's like a three mana remove soul. 
So I'm going to take those out. I'm going to add another one of you, and I'm going to add another one of you. Yeah, I like that better. I also like another Fulminating Rage if we're running more Kolagon's commands. I also, maybe that's just better than Nixithid. I actually kind of like it better than Nixithid, to be honest. I'm just going to go full-on Fulminator Mage here. Oh, wait, stop. Why are you doing this? I wanted to add more. There we go. Oh, I like this better. Why are there no Jace the Mind Sculptors in here? Actually, oh my god, what is that about, dude? What is that about, dude? All right, Damnation, you're going back over here. It also gives us a way to put back the Cruel Controls. And that's like the perfect card draw that we want in the deck. Wow. Josh, you really need to explain yourself how there's no Jace the Mind Sculptors in this deck. And also, like, Fulminator Mage goes great with both Kolagon's Command and it's a way to... It gives us a definite creature to have in the graveyard. Plus, it's just so good. Like, if you're just constricting their mana, like... Cool, I get a block. I don't know if I like Counter Squall in the main deck. I like having the Counter Spell. But... I want to put one Damnation in the main deck. Okay, so, okay, it was a hasty decision. I got you. I got you. All right, we're going to add the Fatal Push back. No, we already have it there. Okay, we'll add another Counter Squall. We're going to add two Counter Squalls to the sideboard instead. Okay, I like that better. Uh, I don't like Logic not that much. I don't think we just... I, I'm not sure we're going for... Full on. We're going for like kill the creatures apparently. I can see cutting uh, Kolagon's command for uh, like a maybe a logic knot could be fine. Oh, we get two cards. My God. All right, maybe I keep that. Shriekmaw. Hmm. Is Shriekmaw just better than Terminate, maybe? I and mean, we have Snapcaster Mage, but... I like Second Search a lot as well. I think I think, I think a Search early is nice. All right, let's try this. So this seems good. I'm a fan of what, what we're looking at right now. Oh, I like Flip Jace a lot too. Oh my god. There's so many possibilities. Yeah, Flip Jace seems very good, especially because you can get him back with Kolagon's Command and Cryptic Cru Cruel Ultimatum. Cryptic Cruel Ultimatum. Mm Why is no one joining our modern queue? Oh my god, if we had Battle of Wits, we can play all of the cards. Uh, Cryptic Command is just, or Cast Down is just better on the mana than Terminate, but you're not killing Thalia, you're not killing other Thalia, you're not killing uh, Tassiger, uh, you're not killing Kiki Jiki, if that's relevant. There's a lot of cards that Cast Down doesn't hit in modern that you really want to, that you really want to hit. Geist of St. Traft. 
It is funny because nothing hit the Geist of St. Traft. Yeah, I'll keep this hand. This is a gorgeous looking hand. I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. Stream got real quiet, didn't it? Uh, we didn't inquisition because we want to go black. I want to get a, a red blue land. Uh, we don't need double, triple black for anything, but we do need double blue for things, triple blue for things. So also, they're not going to play anything on turn two that they're that we're really scared of. So this just gives us another turn to get a card that we really care about. Hmm. I mean, our deck is pretty well positioned. We have three main deck Fulminator Mages. We have three Kolagons Commands. Sideboard, we have three Ingot Chewers. A good draw. Well, time walk me. I guess if they go something like, yep, that is cool. That's the land we want to see when we have double. This is why I didn't want to play this. Oh god, the literal. Oh my god, the literal worst land in the deck to draw there. Uh, these probably are actually worth less than the regular ones. So. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> I want to look it up right now, actually. The ones I'm playing with are worth 32. Actually, yeah, they're not bad. Regular Jace is worth like 40, though. So these are actually like six tickets less than regular Jace's. Which is super weird for Moto. Moto's are really weird game thing so the only card you have is this but then you can draw 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 you literally have four cards to draw plus a buried ruin yeah that seems good <laughs> okay well see you later all right we're just gonna play this guy
Sorry, guys. This is where we just, I'm looking up comics right now. This is where we just get to watch magic being played. Let's just watch it happen. I'm having a good time. I think the lesson to learn here is that Stoneforge is too strong for modern. That is correct. Is this worth it for a two-man queue? Like, this is the funniest thing ever, like... Is this fun? <laughs> like, I mean, doesn't this... Th I feel like our opponent doesn't... Do you have some spreadsheets that you can go uh, organize? I like, right, I like figuring out spreadsheet formulas in my spare time. Good, 100 good time bits. Thank you so much, Unhinged Island. Unfortunately, the good times are uh, <laughs> I actually do enjoy Bustin' makes me feel good. Wake me up. When September ends. Uh, so apparently their goal is just cre keep playing the, uh, the pyrite spell bomb until they kill us. Two damage at a time. The problem with playing time stop is we have five mana right now. Your odds of hitting six mana before this deck kills you is very, very low. I mean, it's probably just better to play. Wouldn't you just play? Uh, wouldn't you just play surgical extraction, which also gets rid of the, or extirpate, which also gets rid of the uh, pirate spell bomb. Bustin makes me feel good. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, I don't think I'd be going to the modern PPTQ. Because I don't care about qualifying. But, but I guess there's no but there. I'm having a good time. What is a butt for? Hey, you did it. Way to go. Way to go. God, I'm so proud. They grow up so fast. Bring in all the chewers, the fulminator mage. Take out the fatal pushes. Bring in the counter squalls. Bolts can go. Bring in Sir, ja Sir Jackals. Probably want all the Sir Jackals. This is a gladiator format. You know, modern modern's gladiator format, so. <laughs> oh god, I love it. Keep it. Dragged a comb across my head. I'm on my way down. A braid looks good here, so does Ingature. I don't know. I don't get that though. They're, they're, aren't they both good? They literally do the same thing. Only Ingature I can cast for one mana. Drag a comb across my head. I found my way downstairs and drank a cup. Looking up, I noticed I was like, grab my coat and grab my hat. I made the bus in seconds flat. Are any of these pieces relevant? What's the? I mean, like obviously some of them are relevant. I don't know what's the, what's the most relevant here. Is this surgical extractable? All right, so fair and to rare. <laughs> yeah, scrap crawl, scrap crawler, and, and crack line armor were definitely the uh, the two I. I, I was figuring uh, also surgically extracting a pirate spell bomb while it's on the stack is pretty good. Well then. The Emrakul is in their hand. Oh, it's a Mox Opal. Spider View, have a good night, buddy. Look at all the lonely people. Lives in a dream, look at working. All the lonely people, where do they all come from?
We actually don't have to do this now. We can wait till you're... Oh, actually, if we don't do it now, they can potentially bury to ruin it back. So we're going to do it now. One, two, three. They got a pirate spell on here still? Yes, they do. Look at them working. Look at them working. Nope, you can have that, dude. So your hand is Terrarion Emrakul. Jace is going up. I want the world to know. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What was the one mana artifact spell you mentioned in the sideboard? Uh. I don't think I mentioned any. I don't think there are any one mana artifact spells on our sideboard. Hmm. That seems okay, but does it really do anything? I mean, Ingature was was one in the sideboard that we have, or but it's I mean it's not an artifact spell. Artifact removal, yeah, it's Ingature, but it's not. It's, I mean, it's one mana to evoke. Would have liked to land here, but I mean, I guess we'll put. Seven. Yeah, that's fine. So we're going to draw one. We get to look at two new cards. Nope. This one. Ah, I didn't need to play that on tap, but I don't think it matters. Could have actually just hard cast this guy, but I want to take out the uh, the buried ruin. Or the inventor's fair. Yeah, it's got to be Inventor's Fair. <laughs> uh, why do I don't think we care about surgically the mocks? They already have a mocks in play, so that seems pretty less than ideal. You know, this is one of the cards in their hand, so. 
Get back what? Defense grid? Yeah, that's what I figured you'd do, which is why I didn't care about the buried run. Sure. Defense grid number dose. So your one card in hand is Emrakul? All right, we'll just play this ingot chewer, I guess. Um, yeah, I want to keep up Kolagon's command in case they happen to draw. Like, if they draw Crackline Ironworks off the top, they go 1, 2, 3, 4. They can add 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 14, 16, they can just hard cast Emrakul. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, if they if they draw if they end up drawing like Crack Clan Ironworks, we're just gonna make them discard the Emrakul in response. I don't think that would work though. Well, they'd have to crack some of these guys, so it actually would work. Uh yes, they can still win because they still have a pirate spell bomb. They can't win on the spot, but they can still win. Where's my lands at? No, oh, found them. All right. Well, now we're just keeping up torrential gear, Hulk. Here it is. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. What to do here? Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven mana. They need four more mana. Yeah, that's actually exactly what we wanted to happen. Hmm. 
Like, they don't have enough artifacts on board to make enough Emrakul mana, so we can actually... Oh, they have Darksteel Citadels, though. I did not consider Darksteel Citadel. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yikes. They did play a land this turn. Okay, that's actually very good. Oh, thank God. Oh my God. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, tap the Mox Opal. They actually could have had Emrakul Mana this turn. That was, yeah, that was bad. I forgot about the Citadels. Oh boy. I actually don't think we need third torrential girl in the sideboard. That is a uh... wow. Yeah, that's that's busted. Busting makes me feel good. Doodle -doodle -doodle. And we have double. We have triple counter squall. We have triple cryptic command, and we have <sighs> this hand is. I think this hand is keepable. So I think we're just getting uh, blood crypt. Come on, thought thought sees one time. Not bad. Really tempted to get the Mind Stone. If they play another one, I'm going to be sad, but I think it's. I feel like it's a fine play because it lets us also see what's going on. Okay. Can a dude just get some counter spells? God, Fulminator Mage isn't even good here. But I think we still just want to get it down. Let's see what you have. Three well springs. Oh, we did hit a. Did we hit a star? Look at that. We hit a star. Oh, that's a. These are spheres. Ah, that's stupid. <laughs> Never mind. That makes me sad. Emrakul, triple well spring, blast, and star. So only three, right? I'm not missing anything. Got the graveyard, got the library. None in hand. I have a feeling this is not going to be revealed, so... We'll have to do it the old-fashioned way. Yeah, that's what I thought. Man, if one of those was in the graveyard, whoo! All right, one down. Star down. Two down.
Yep. So this is all four wellsprings, right? Yeah, they can still make colors with it. I'm probably gonna kill their land. Like if they don't have four actual mana or a way to sacrifice their artifacts, they're in pretty pretty bad shape, right? Plus we have Kolagon's command to get it back if we want to. You got it. I'm just gonna galvanic blast my face. Fascinating. Six cards in hand. We know Wellspring, Blast, Emrakul. And that is all the Wellsprings. <sighs> yeah, we did. Wellspring, Blast, Emrakul was their hand. So they have Emrakul and Galvanic Blast that we know about. All right, moment of truth. We give them one turn to not hit Ironworks and to not hit Fourth Land. And Ironwork still doesn't kill us. It's only four. Well, maybe it does, actually. If they get enough artifacts, they draw four cards. Yep. So they have to get th three. Says nothing. Uh, probably not doing drafts, and I don't know why you'd want to actually see M19 drafts this far into the format. How are you not tired of M19? That's pretty impressive to me.
We still have yet to open an X's of Fate. Wow. Sacking Scrap Trawler. Okay. Oh god, please ban something from this deck. It's just not fun. Time playing Magic the Gathering. Uh, how, how would you rate M19 in terms of keeping your interest compared to other sets? Very low. I mean, it's a core set. Like, I don't know, Dominaria was better. Uh, Ixalan and Rivals of Ixalan was pretty bad. Amonkhet, I didn't really enjoy Amonkhet that much. What was before that? Kaladesh? Kaladesh is alright. I'm finding the more time that goes on, the less I am enjoying just regular draft formats in general. They just seem to be pretty boring. <laughs> Talking away. I don't know what. What to say, I say it anyway. I'm opening my mail today. You guys. Uh, Pro Tour Cube means it's uh, Eric Klug's creation. Uh, it is uh, every... The cards in the cube are only limited to cards in the top eight deck list from pro tours so it's going to be more modern and uh and standard cards not including limited cards not including uh like draft pro tours obviously this is a mail stream i keep getting like actual letters from my insurance company and they're like here's what you owe and i'm like no i have a i have automatic deduction and b i have electronic mail so don't even why are you electronic mail electronic statements so why are you sending me this i don't want paper let me know when you're done buddy you just let me know when you're done who enters the who enters a, a modern two-man queue and is like i want to spend this is i this is where i want to spend my life this is what i want to do i just want to i want to just waste 35 minutes of my life doing this I don't understand it. Hopefully these these letter opening crinkles will give you some some tingles for your ASMR needs. Total amount due. No payment is required. Your account is set up for auto pay. Then why are you sending me these? Please stop. I don't want to get these. I don't want any physical mail. I just throw it out and then it's a waste of paper and my time. And everything else is just wasted. It's all wasted, guys. Frank opens his mail. On the stream, my opponent's running out. He's running out of time and of cards. Having a good time. I mean, one one hundredth of a tree adds up when you consider it goes to thousands upon thousands of people, right? I'm going to go to my site right now while we wait, and I'm going to be like, hey, can you make sure not to send me this because I don't want it. I might even call them and be like, look, make sure you don't send this to me.
Member ID? I have no friggin' idea what my member ID is. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Sonic Hound, thank you for the struggle is real bits. Appreciate it, buddy. My opponent has a first name. It's W-A-S-T-E. My opponent has a second name. It's A-L-L space T-H-E space T-I-M-E. <laughs> I did just, I did literally just rip up my, where's my member ID? I have no idea. Uh, it's in the, it's in the letter that we sent you that you just ripped up. Dang it. Dang it. Life is hard. Oh, there it is. I found it. God, that thing is long. Why do you need this long of member ID? Well, you see, there are millions of, uh, millions of members. Whatever. I don't know why I'm lock locked out of my account to begin with. Is someone trying to hack my... Who's hacking my health insurance? We'll get his information. God, this thing is long. Two minutes and 25 seconds. There we go. Wow, that is a long verification code. My god. The code does not match what was in our system. You literally just sent it to me. Okay, hold on. Let me delete these spaces. I think that worked. Hey, look, you did it. Untrim tune. Oh, it didn't. It didn't work. Oh boy. It's literally what you sent me. Why are you not letting me have my insurance? I don't understand. All right. That was fun. I had a good time. With a minute left on the clock, they ended up winning the game. Congrats. Congratulations. When I was a congratulations. Yes, log in, you stupid dummy. All right, let's get our head in the game. Yeah, it felt like a lifetime. Some people wait a lifetime for a matchup like this. <gasps> oh no, bad things are happening. One rattle chains, one collected company, and four lands. Okay. I thought you were getting out of here. Unbelievable. When I was a young boy, my father said there's laughter black and red. I actually hate that song so much. It's so pretentious and stu it's such a dumb song. I'm going to lose. What is that? My Chemical Romance? I don't even know who that is. I think it's My Chemical Romance. Is that what you kids listening to? I don't know. Anyway, that song's terrible. Check out what I tagged you in. Is it a Facebook thing? Yes, it is. Oh, God. Oh my god. 
<laughs> All right, that's pretty funny. This is what I got tagged in. Hey, it's just around the friggin' river bend. That's Carl from uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force, for those who don't know. Do I want this? Carl Hauntus. Just around the internet. Um, so let's see. I want a fourth land. I don't think this is it, though. I'm going to put this in the trash can. God, that was the one. That's a good one. This feels better than Fulminator. We can still play Fulminator next turn and not have to take a million damage. Spozorio, what's going on? I'm just going to call you fake names, too. Spritzio, what's going on? We're having a good time. Do I look like a bad ventriloquist? Why do I look like that, though? Well, explain yourself. Just around the river bend. Do I want to pay two life? No. So Sanctum is down. So we know this is your hand. Uh, yeah, that can go to the graveyard. Yeah, we can flip this next turn. Good times. I assume the Kraken and Iron Guy defensively played Emrakul and killed us. I assume that as well. Uh, it's hard to say, though, because I think I blacked out. We're doing this on their turn because if we want if they want to play something in Fatal Push, we can kill it. I didn't even have the Fatal Push. Yeah, we're just going to let that live, and then we're going to keep up. Uh, keep it up. Uh, yeah, put that thing in the graveyard. I don't care about that. Ooh, girl. Got that cryptic command. Bye. All right, we're doing good. We're doing good. Everybody's having a good time. We got a masterpiece hand, boys. Just around the cryptic command. All right, this is gone. So now your hand is wooded. Did you play the wooded foothills? God, you're so talented. I don't ever wanna. <laughs> All right, you. you I, oh man, I got you. Got me with the Discord ventriloquist uh, joke. That's good. That's pretty good. Okay, okay. They're going to EOT Collected Company. They have to, right? It's the only thing that makes sense. They didn't attack with this. That's weird to me. Oh, they're going to just use it so they don't have to take any flooded strand damage. Uh, goodbye. Counter target spell. I think we want to draw a card. I do like drawing cards. Doodly doo doo doo. Put that thing in the garbage can. Yeah, no one uses Ventriloquist anymore. It's all about that Discord. Joke's on you. I drew a second collected company because you know as well as I do that every collected company player draws two collected companies back to back. Miss. Just around the Nickelback. Oh, that's old Fulmy. Uh, 
Oh, we can go snap Colgon, get get Fulminator Mage back. I think they do have Collected Company for obvious reasons. But we got this damnation. What in damnation? Oh, I'm gonna bust. Mm. Busting makes me feel good. Oh, they didn't collect it, company. Well, that's the land we're going to kill. That's for sure. Oh, I can't counter your little mausoleum wanderer. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna keep putting lands in the graveyard, man. I don't even care. You think you know me? You don't know me. Just around the river bend. Yeah, I didn't think you'd be blocking that guy. They have no cards in hand. Never made it as a one bench dealing, and this is how you remind me of what I really am. Not like me, I'm saying sorry. Then blame it on a different story. Are we having fun yet? So we can go snap and uh Oh my god. Let's get another black source and another red source. Blue, blue, blue. So we're gonna flip this now, that's pretty cool. And if we top deck a Cruel Ultimatum, we're only one mana away. Yeah, we can put that in the graveyard. Yes, we'll flip. Ooh, now we got the Cruel Mana, boys. This is how you remind me of what I really am. Snap it up before you go, go and leave me hanging on snapping on us. Let's get cold, Lagan's command. And we'll take a thing right out of your hand. Uh, return a creature from your graveyard and make them discard. Wake me up before you go. In response, I will collect a company. Lucky, 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 lucky. I mean, this is this is actually good for damnation, though. Yep. Sure. Well, that's great. That's great. That's great.
Lucky, 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 lucky. Well. Can we use this? Thank you. Thank you. Kill that. If we Jace, it dies. So basically after Damnation and we just keep these two guys alive. That seems pretty bad. The alternative is we take five in the air. I guess that's not terrible, right? They could also just forget. And then we got, I guess we can bounce it next turn with Jace if we want to, if they don't draw anything here. No, we can't because... Yep. Whatever, we take two. They're in top deck mode. What can possibly go wrong? We're going to top deck a Cruel Ultimatum. It's all going to go well. Selfless Spirit number two. Seems good. Lightning Bolt, probably where we want to be. <laughs> I'll sacrifice it in response. That's the correct play. I'm just, I'm just being sassy about it. I'm used to people like tapping their mana, like oh, I'll tap my mana elf in response. You have no cards in hand. I still want the mana. Okay, well, what are you do? You okay? Well, we're dead on board here. Not yet. We're actually go to one. Hmm. Hmm. I actually kind of like snap into cryptic tap your team. Tapping, yeah, tapping, tapping, tapping. Or we can go one, two, three, four, five. We have eight mana, that's a lot. One, two, three, four. There it is. It's your boy. All right, so now we just have to survive. I don't want them to draw rattle chains or something. We're actually just going to do this now. Freaky ghost. Going to the face, huh? Jace is the place for the helpful hardware, folks. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can actually play a land. Keep up two mana. Freaky ghost. I think we're just gonna do this, Javi. Do we just go to two and make sure they don't have a thing in there? This is gonna make them discard anyway. What could they possibly have drawn? Crypt collected company number two? Come on.
I mean, collect the company with three, of course. That's what I meant. Okay, we're in the sacrifice mode. It's just a land. Oh, they just don't want to show me. Hmm. Cruel Ultimatum won the game. Won the game, ladies and gentle folk. I want to bring in this Fatal Push. Fulminating Rage has been good. I'm going to bring in this other damn Damnazione. It's from the Italian, right, Spazio? Yeah, it seems good. Um, cool tomato. Damn, not Sione. Oh, that's good stuff. I like how, like, I like that Donazione is so close to Damnation. That's actually pretty amazing. Language is awesome. Freaky ghosts. I do like that Liliana. She's a good, she's a good lady. I take out the Gear Hulks. They might be a little too, uh, too aggressive. Take out one search here. I like Fulminator Mage because it gets rid of, uh, Actually, we're not as reliant on Fulminator Mage. Yeah, it's it's true because they're all rooted in in the Latin, so it's like. This sure beats YouTube lurking. So appreciate it. I agree. The old turn to noble hierarch, huh? I don't think I've quoted any Modest Mouse. Oh, actually, uh, Pernicious Dude probably probably did quote Modest Mouse, yes. Um, we're going to get a Blood Crypt here. We need a Red Source. We want a second Black Source. We're probably going to get a Steam Vento. God, it's six o'clock already? Where'd the time go? I, I'll I'll let my I'll agree to let my beard uh, be an entity of its own. Oh, this is great because it means no cryptic command. And by cryptic command, I mean uh, collected company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't understand the spirit deck not having a play on with four mana. I'm very confused. Oh, drug skull captain. Oh, that's a good that's a good boy. Yikes. Freaky ghosts. Steam vent. We take seven here? Good lord. <laughs> So we can Colagon's Command, we can Fatal Push, we can s just play a Snapcaster for no value. I think it's actually Colagon's Command. Ugh. 
I mean, we're, we're attempting to, uh, to Kolagon's command here. Let's use this for a red. Matthew Ori, that actually that card actually seems great. Gain control plans work. It's actually flavorful because the loyalty becomes one. Because it's less loyal. And it also balances out the fact that you're not getting a planeswalker you can ultimate immediately. Um And searching your library for a planeswalker card is is not it's just worse than Mastermind's acquisition, but you get the double value out of it. <laughs> That's doubling charm. Well, it's not a spirit, so that's not going to work the way you want it to. Bustin', 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 bustin'. This will give your selfless spirit flash if it is the last card in your hand. I imagine it is so that you can just murder me next turn, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight. Last card, Selfless Spirit. You have an extreme luck with this. Yeah, okay. Well, that's good too, I guess. Nope, don't want to pay one for it because I don't have it. Lucky, 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 lucky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They could have just, uh, they, they're one shy of killing me, I guess. Yep, and that'll be the game. Geist of St. Draft is a piece of doo-doo. Keep. Keep it. Water grave would be great. As it stands, we gotta take four here because we don't have a way to play blue on turn two and black on turn one without both of these lands. But, small price to pay. We get to rip their Geist of St. Traft another hand, ideally. Man. Cavern of Souls? I think we just take the Noble Hierarch here. <laughs> like, they have one land, and it's a cavern. And they have nothing to really play with it yet, so they have to hit more lands. I hit a Noble Hierarch off the tap. I feel like we just want to play search here. We can go to 16 and play search because next turn it lets us play two things. And that's really what we want. So cavern is gone. Actually, what did we get rid of? Spell Queller, Supreme Phantom, Supreme Phantom, and Cavern. So they drew a card and they drew a card this turn. Yeah, put that in the graveyard, unfortunately. Kill all your things. Talking away. I'm gonna 
Inquisition your face, Inquisition your face. Well, I need to have this in one other card. So you're just going to play the Rattle Chains. Sure. And then I get to rip the Supreme Phantom out. Deal. Okay. No cards in hand. Me likey. Wham stream. That was an aha. That's an aha jam. Um, we want another blue source. So we can have triple blue. We also want a black source. We'll just get water grave. It's the only one we don't have. So it actually gives us perfect mana. Uh, no, I don't think I'll ever put that in the graveyard. Put it in my hand, though. <laughs> oh, they're going to do a thing. They're not going to do a thing. They have changed their thing to in mind. Spell Queller? 100 calling me out on my music knowledge bits. <laughs> I got to do what I got to do. All right, you still got one card in hand. If it's a spell queller, it's rough, but I guess we can actually. Let's try to do this. B -b -b -b. It's obviously instant, right? So you just cast it now. It's a spirit of some sort. Interesting. Whoa, that was such a good hit, dude. Bro. Nope, would never put that in my graveyard in a million years. Oh yeah, we got this. Crackling Doom was a super cool card. I loved I loved Cons of Tarkir. That set was amazing. You could play anything in Cons of Tarkir block. You just top deck another one? Oh god, do I I, I don't care about that. Delira Knight, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, put that in the graveyard, please. We don't have a reason to play that here. Actually, it doesn't counter any of their spirits. Yeah, we do. It keeps them off Collected Company already, so we don't have to keep up Crypto Command for that. And if it's a spirit anyway, we can't actually counter it. So. And that'll do. All right. This deck is sweet. I, I enjoy it. I think it's a solid uh, entry into the... I might want Liliana in the main... I actually like a second Liliana in the sideboard over probably... Pro oh, the Torrential Girl, easily. Um, yeah, I like this deck a lot. Josh, I think this deck is actually... I think it's got some legs. It's it's just a control deck, and then in the late game you get to Cruel Ultimatum. And I like Torrential Gearhook a lot, especially with the uh, the Kolagons commands and the Terminates. I also like Main Deck Fulminator. I think it's fun. And we do have Jace and Torrential Gearhook, and it just does a lot of cool things. So, um, yeah, hopefully this deck is uh, sweet enough for you. Hopefully, hopefully you try this out and uh, let me know how it goes. I also think Reflecting Pool is a fantastic land in the three-color decks. Like, it's always going to come into play untapped. It never deals you any damage, and it literally taps for all three of your colors pretty frequently. Um, I think Reflecting Pool is actually pretty underrepresented in uh, in Modern, which is interesting. I feel like it's a much better land than people give it credit for. Um, but yeah, on that note, I'm going to get out of here because I think this deck is great, and I will... Uh, 
slam those like and subscribe buttons and check me out on Patreon and Twitch. The links are in the description below. You can find the deck list there. You can find out how to get me to critique your own deck and we can talk about it and play it through some matches against Crack Clan Ironwork, which is the most fun modern deck that's ever existed. And then you can watch me rip up my mail while we wait. And uh, hopefully uh, you guys will do that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.